he only does that once and never again. Guys, if you only brush your teeth once, you're still going to have rotten teeth. And so what you've done is you've written down an action. And let me tell you, if you leave this conference and you go and do that one thing, that's great. And I hate to have to say this, but I think it might be more than what often happens after a conference. But it's still not really good enough, is it? Because if this is going to mean anything, it cannot be a one-off action. And so this brings us to our fourth and final, the holy grail of all transformation is phase four, unaware action. It's when you're doing it and you don't even know that you're doing it. Do you wake up and say, hmm, I wonder if I should brush my teeth today? Yeah, leave it. You're not even asking the question, are you? You're doing it automatically. You're taking the action without even knowing you're taking it. This is the holy grail, and it's called a habit. Aristotle said, excellence is not an act, it's a habit. Habits are the most beautiful thing in the world. Because what habits do is that they automate behavior so that we don't have to be as conscious and reflective and deliberate about it. Now that's fantastic with great habits like healthy eating and exercise and effective communication and wealth creation and all those great things that you guys do on a daily basis that lead to your prosperity. They're not so great when they're about unhealthy eating or overspending or screaming and ranting and getting stressed, right? The things that we can also do on a regular basis. And so habits are neutral. Habits are a force that can be used for good or bad. Essentially, they are the way that the brain conserves energy. So it takes certain behaviors. And by the way, it's estimated that 60, maybe even 80% of what we do is habitual. It's habitual. It happens us without us even knowing. And that's ultimately where we actually want to be with positive behaviors. We want to do it without even thinking about it. You see, habits get neurologically wired into the brain. So I want you to just fold your arms for me. Great, and now unfold them, and now fold them the other way. Feels, you can do it, some of you, but it feels uncomfortable, doesn't it, guys? It feels uncomfortable, because the way that you naturally do it, this is important, the way that you naturally do it is a habit. To do it a different way feels uncomfortable because it's not neurologically wired in your brain. Guess what, guys? Why don't we change? This is why we don't change. Change is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable because you now have to do something that is not wired into your brain, which requires awareness. Now, if you do it consistently, the father of modern psychology, William James, said it would take 21 days for an act to become a habit, and this you will often hear from people. I'm afraid it's not true. Uh, the latest research from London School of Economics shows that it can be much longer. It can also be much shorter, but it depends on the person, the motivation, and it depends on the habits. And what I'm going to do as we close off, I'm going to give you some tools so that you can take whatever behavior you want and turn it into a habit. So that you can take any current behavior that you do not want anymore and terminate it. Don't you think this is about the most important thing that we can learn as a human being? How to adopt or drop any habit? If ultimately it's our habits that determine our health, our wealth, even our happiness. That's right. There are thinking habits that keep us stuck in anxiety and depression. And there are thinking habits that lift us into contentment and ease and happiness. And so we've got to learn how to be able to change this. This is the ultimate act of self-creation is to decide how do I want to behave? We don't come out of the womb behaving like the way that we behave. 
our behavior is slowly uh, adopted largely through our observation of others, right? Culture. We've spoken a lot about culture over the past couple of days. What is culture? Culture is social habits. Culture is social habits. And yes, if you take a demotivated person and put them into a motivated culture, they tend to become more motivated. Take a motivated person, put them into a demotivated culture, they tend to become more demotivated. So a lot of habits are actually come almost through sort of social osmosis. We don't even realize it's happening. You know, there's an old African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes an organization to produce the behavior that we see around us. But we want to take, start taking charge of this.